I have a goal on this video of getting five combined likes and dislikes. So watch to the end, and if you liked it, give it a thumb. If you didn't like it, give it a down thumb. How's it going everyone? My name is Brad, and I started this channel because I had no one to talk to about music anymore. I love to talk punk, pop punk, emo, alternative, metal, and basically anything that rocks. But the mission here is to find more rockers out there and create a conversation about what I love and what you love. This video is going to be the fourth in a series about one of my favorite bands of all time, Bayside. Be sure to watch all the way to the end to see which songs make it into the final showdown. If you haven't checked out the other videos in this series, you can check out the link above. Let's get started with Bayside's fifth album, 2011's Killing Time. I'll call this Bayside's like bookend album because it ends the way it starts. But let's not spoil the list. At number 10, I have Mona Lisa. This song is not good and I don't want to waste any time talking about it. Number nine, I have On Love, On Life. This is actually a really nice little song uh, that I don't have any complaints about. It's very well written and the lyrics are meaningful. But this list is about my favorites and I just don't find myself coming back here very often. As a matter of fact, it gets skipped every single time because of what comes after. But let's not spoil this list. Number eight, I have Seeing Sound. The, the other two songs before this, they're fine and all, but Killing Time is really all about just crushing you. This song has fun, bouncy verses, and like a creepy da-da-da-da-da. Sorry, I didn't hear me saying. Uh, thing that it, which sets it apart from the other songs in the middle of the album. This one and the next two on this list are basically interchangeable. Just one of them has a really, really memorable solo on it. It's not this one. Number seven, I have Sinking or Swimming on Long Island. This song has a really cool opening riff that leads into what could be my favorite style of chorus on Killing Time. It's really slammy and slow. I may not mention it yet, but I'm gonna mention it. This is a really heavy Bayside album. It's a total departure from Shudder, which we'll get into in the next video. I'm so excited for that video. I also love the drums on this song. They have some really nice fills that they that the drummer sneaks in here and there. But this song is all about Bayside's glorious rhythm section, in lockstep as usual, a great chorus and phenomenal bridge. I don't love the whole damn it all to hell situation thing on here, but the oohs and ahs after the bridge, they're epic. This song is really, really good. Number six, I have It's Not a Bad Little War. This is a very unique song on Killing Time. It could be the most poppy and fun song on here that's actually good. I'm looking at you, Mona Lisa. Hand claps in the second verse uh, will put you in just a great mood. But this song is known for one specific thing, and that is a one-of-a-kind face-melting solo. I will say on here... This is kind of hard to explain, but I feel like the solos on this album were like written, if that makes sense. It's like the song was made and they left open space for Jack to actually like write a solo into. They don't seem to come as natural as some of the other album solos, but still, this is a pretty great jam that starts what I would call the mediocre middle of this album. This is actually where our finalists from Killing Time begin. As we head into the finalist section, I gotta ask you, is Brad crazy that I leave out your favorite song from Killing Time? Or are we on the same page? Do you agree with me on any of this? Please be sure to sound off in the comments. I genuinely wanna know what you guys think. Number five, I have The Wrong Way. So these five songs on here that remain in this list are why this record exists and are almost entirely interchangeable. This song is bad. This song has aggressive verses with a nice little sing-along chorus, but then it happens. This sucker breaks down better than any song on Killing Time, and it has a hard bass hit as it goes into its breakdown. Then the 
then this bridge, all's well that ends well. I'm finished with this game. There's got to be a better way than learning from your mistakes. What happens next? Bruh. A murderously epic, face-destroying solo. Easily the best and the most complex solo on Killing Time. This could actually be my third favorite, but it's not. Number four, I have, and now it's going to get controversial, Sick Sick Sick. This is honestly the hardest song to rank on here as I feel that it's overplayed by me to the point of being skippable. But the more I listened to it again and observed it closely, uh, the song is a truly infectious tune with a chorus that you must scream. Anthony is clearly disgusted with somebody in this song with verses that have the bass and the vocals working in perfect tandem and weaving all over the place. The bridge with we grow up building lies with holes in all our walls. Deep stuff. But I would call this the most accessible, like really good song on this album. And would probably be the song that I would send someone to hear Bayside uh, for the first time if they liked like mainstream heavy music. Number three, I have the new flesh. I have one word for you, and that word is metal. And that's not the last time I'm gonna say that on this list. I know that this is a deep, underappreciated cut, but my gosh, this song is amazing. This song doesn't really have a solo per se, but it does have a nice, heavy, hooky lick that shows up from time to time in the song. The breakdown on here has really cool panning work on it with the, the two guitars um, switching back and forth from left to right in the recording. From the breakdown on in this song, this might be my favorite part on Killing Time to sing along with and just rock out to on this whole album. No, no, no. But now that we're close to the end, I won't be spoiling it to tell you that Killing Time is the rare album that ends better than it starts. I have always listened to three of the last four songs on the album more than anything else on here. Thus, I call it like a bookended album. I feel like I'm alone on this island, but that's okay because this is my list. Now we're down to our top two. And for number two, I have Already Gone. How sad you're gonna be. I wish I could stick around to see your face when you realize you permanently changed. This song is a banger. One could call this a perfect song. It has everything you want in an early 2010s heavy, radio-friendly jam. To this day, I'm shocked that Bayside didn't surge in popularity after Killing Time's release. This lead riff sounds like it was like created by a bot that exists to write perfect riffs. These verses win the war of all the verses, crushing you directly in the face with brute power with all the instruments in perfect syncopation together. Pre-chorus to end all pre-choruses lyrically and musically. By all means, I'm getting mad, but that don't mean I don't feel sorry for you. Everything about this song is perfect, but that doesn't mean it's my favorite. Because at number one, I have the title track, Killing Time. I have one word for you. The rhythm 
section and the vocals are locked in, working together to create a truly head bobbing sensation on the verses. You can't not do it. What pushes this to number one though for me is the lyrics and the meaning behind this song. Can a person make a difference if they never make a sound? When I hear this song, it always makes me think about what the heck am I doing with my life? You know, am I just killing time just waiting for my moment to die? I spent all my life waiting for a moment to come, walking single file waiting for a moment to come. It's really deep. This song is so epic. Get your horns up because this song rules. There you go. That is going to be my song ranking for Bayside's fifth studio album, Killing Time. Stay tuned because I am working on my ranking video for Bayside's fourth album, 2008's Shudder. Uh, if you want to get notified though, whenever that video comes out, you just reach out your little tiny finger and push the subscribe button and then push a tiny bell next to it. But remember to have fun and whatever you do, don't be normal and don't just kill time. Go do that thing that you've been putting off and go do it right now.